Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Socom Reviews on Nerf Socom Mods. We're putting the reviews on Nerf Socom Mods from now on because we like it better that way. We think it's more organized. So, today we're going to be reviewing the, the Speedload 6. Um, this one's very, very, very similar to the Quick 16. First of all, the main things about this is it's a top slide gun, so it's kind of like... The Maverick. It's kind of like the Maverick or, or the... Uh, the Spectre, recon. or the Recon, yeah. So. But um, it's got larger handles, just like the Quick 16, which means it's it fits in my hands. But a smaller kid's hands, which Nerf guns are normally tailored to, I don't know if it will fit as well. But overall, look at the gun. This is actually really, really big gun because of the integrated clip on the side. It's actually really big. And, um, it won't fit it's in the stock. It, um, I, I was thinking about trying a Mac 11 uh, airsoft gun holster for it, but this is just way too big. That's, it's just huge. It's pretty big for a pistol though. If, it's, if you're going to use this for a sidearm, this is really big. But if it's for a primary, it's, it's not that bad. Cause if it's for a primary, it's more weak. Yeah, it's weak though. So I would use it as a sidearm if I could find something to keep it in because it's so big. Or you could also, with the one strap hole that it comes with, it doesn't come with two, you can put that on your bandolier as a sidearm because obviously it's not going to fit in any stock and I'm sure it won't fit in the stock that comes on the on the vest that you can get for, for the uh, Nerf company. Um, it's got this little hole here. You can see what how much ammo you have left. What's really nice about these guns that Nerf came out with, the Quick 16 and Speedload 6, is that you can load them from the top at any time during the game. It's really, really effective, and it works really well because a lot of the time you're in the middle of a game, you pull your clip out and start loading that, unless you have like a front-loading gun, but that, those aren't very good. No. Yeah, you can't pull the clip out in the first place. It's not removable. Yeah, so it's stuck yeah, on there. Yeah, it's, it's stuck on there. It only takes Velcro darts, just like the Quick 16. It only takes these types. Um, we've tried other ones. Well, they don't work as well as the Velcro. Not as well. Not it takes the blue ones that come with it, and also takes the orange and green ones, or any Velcro ones you can buy in the store. If this gun jams a lot. Um, first of all, it's probably because of the top slide, it's kind of harder to cock all the way back and forth. And it's not like the Maverick in the way that it has the forward assist, the spring that pulls it forward. You have to cock it all the way forward like the Recon. There's no rails on here. No rails at all. No sights. So you yeah. can't really see where you're shooting. Yeah, there's no you sights to, or rails. So that's why it would be more of a CQC or CQB. Um, there's no digital camo on here. We, we thought they would keep doing the camo, um, the digital camo on like the, um, See, Raider. The guns. They put it on yeah. the Raider, they put it on the um, the uh, Long Strike, and I think some other ones. But yeah, they stopped, it looks like. Or maybe they're just not doing it on the Dart Tag guns. It does only hold six rounds, so it's kind of, it's kind of, it has to be a backup gun. This cannot be your primary unless you have um, a bandolier with, with all 20 rounds on. Because it does only hold six, and if you ever get to a point where you actually need to slam fire, which is pretty hard with this gun, as I've said, because... Um, it's a top slide, so it's harder. Uh, if you ever get to a point where you need to slam fire, then you will run out of, out of ammo fast. And then that makes the gun kind of pointless for that. So you definitely want to use it as a secondary if you can, if you have a bad leader. Like the um, other CSs, like the CS6 and the CS recons and stuff, the clips, you can fit another extra dart in there. Or like one in there, of course it would jam them. This gun you can't fit anymore. Yes. Unless if you cock it and then you can put another one yeah, in. Yeah, what there. yeah, what yeah. you can do is you can fit one more dart. Um right now you put six in there and you can try to squish another one and you might be able to get it in but you're gonna ruin your darts. You can cock once and put it put another one in. That's seven now. Um well, obviously you don't want to leave your guns cocked. Overall this is a pretty good gun, except overall the uh, cons they kind of go over the pros because there's not very many pros, so... I would recommend, if you're going to get this, um, uh, get it after getting a more effective gun, such as the Quick 16, um, Long Strike, or... Raider, or anything. Or the Raider. Yes, yes really anything. Um, yeah. The CS18 is better than this as well. I, I would recommend most guns over this. So, now let's go see the shooting. So we have lined up three tapes, equaling up to 65 feet. Um, we're going to be shooting the speed load 6. Here we go. Because these would just land here. 
So after testing this, we found the effective range is 25 feet. Thanks for watching Nerf Show Comrade Views on Nerf Show Comrade.